Hi right, guys, this is Pestilia. Welcome to another Escape from Tarkov video. Today I'm talking about the latest ammo changes and uh, some of the other changes being the science and filing cabinets. So without further ado, let's crack straight into it. All right, so starting off with the sites, uh, I'll show you inside here the sites that are currently have been changed. The Razor is no longer a purchasable item from Jaeger. It is now only found in Raid. On top of that, the Burris site is also no longer found in Raid, but it is a, sorry, it's no longer sold from a traders, but it is a barter trade. Um, last but not least, the Voodoo, which is one of my go-to sites as well. It's no longer able to be purchased from traders. It's only a barter trade now. So you'll be able to still buy them on uh, from traders. Sorry, you'll be able to buy them from loose spawns put up on flea, but you can't just buy them straight from traders anymore. I anticipate these prices going up. The barter trade for the Voodoo is two GPXs. Usually they're around 28K. They've already started going up to about 45. And then the Burris is Kvass's, which is one of the drinks. Um, and it's three of the drinks. So I'm anticipating those drinks will start going up in value as well. The Eraser site, itself uh being only found in raid is uh currently at 98k and i anticipate this is going to go up a lot it's pretty much in my opinion the best site in the game so clear and crisp so yeah unfortunately that is the case with that now uh let's talk about ammunition i went with the sites easy uh, first up because that's the easiest and, and quickest thing to go over let's talk about ammunition so a lot of the meta ammunitions have been removed from traders at least so you're not going uh, to be able to buy uh 762 by 39 bp anymore by traders m61 which is pretty much the meta ammo for your 762 or your 308s m995 which is your m4 ammo your 556 ammo but also the 855a1 which is pretty much the go-to standard ammo is no longer sold from skier but you can still buy it from peacekeeper uh the ps12b now that's the ash 12 ammo it's the one that can one tap killer in the head but now that with the new rsh revolver added to the game you can no longer purchase that from Trader. So the meta ammo, it pretty much means you're not going to be able to one-tap someone with a revolver. Uh, the 9x21BT ammo. Now, this is for the new SR2M uh, full auto SMG. Um, that's the best AP ammo. It's no longer purchasable from Traders. And then last but not least, you can no longer do the barter trade for impact nades. So what does all this mean? Pretty much what it means is they've reduced the uh, ability to buy the high tier AP ammo. So you're no longer going to be easily able to one tap people in the head or pretty much two tap people in the chest. So it means fights should start becoming a little bit longer. So the time to kill should be a little bit slower and should mean that some sort of prolonged early to mid wipe. Anyone out there arguing, oh, this is a ruining on casuals. They're never going to experience that shit. It actually fucks over the people that are already got, got it and they're no longer to be able to just cream through you guys like no tomorrow. They're actually going to have to use the shittier ammo like everyone else. And so it should actually be a lot more beneficial for casuals. I always say that you could argue either way that you're fucking over or fucking over uh, casuals or, or hardcore players on any change. You could argue it any way, but in all seriousness, this is actually going to make it a lot harder for the sweat lords to be able to own you guys with the end game high tier ammo by just buying it off traders. They're going to have to either find it off raiders or goons, scab bosses, or craft it themselves in their hideout. Now, some of the other ammunition changes I'll chuck in here. Uh, the M80, M62, and their 0 .5, uh, 0 0.45 ACP ammo for, uh, has all been moved to Peacekeeper 4. So even M80 ammo, which is kind of like your stock standard ammo for your 308 variant, uh, is now no longer super easy to get. Uh, you'll still be able to, you know, one tap most helmets with that. So when people do finally get up to that point, they'll be able to have at least one decent ammo to do long range sniping with with your M700s and stuff like that. But in all seriousness, it's actually going to slow down the time to kill and hopefully make fights feel a little bit longer uh, unless obviously you get head on. Now, um, on top of that, you can no longer post the PS12B ammo, the M80 ammo, or the, uh, the SR2M BT ammo up on the flea market. So in all seriousness, I'm kind of interested to see what happens. This could actually be a really cool change. One thing that everyone always forgets is Nikita has said from day fucking dot that he kind of had the game set up that they just chucked everything in to be tested out and he's gonna tighten that squeeze on what's available and make it more survival and hardcore um over the the length of the actual game's development so this is just another one of those steps that's going to slow down progression uh for the for the high tier end game people um but for the actual general everyday person they're actually probably going to 
not really notice too much on that besides the fact they might survive an extra bullet before they die to the people that have all the, the sweaty gear now the last but not least change that i want to talk about today is filing cabinets they have done a beautiful change to filing cabinets right now i have been farming filing cabinets like crazy on my hardcore account um and i have been finding keys but not just customs anymore i've been finally finding shoreline keys streets keys i even found a reserve key now someone came in my chat saying you couldn't find reserve keys in there or you couldn't find uh, marked keys in there i haven't found any marked keys yet but i definitely did find a reserve key in there so filing cabinets now are golden make sure you're looting them like crazy because you can get any key in the game from what i can see obviously besides labs um you know not going to probably find any like red key cards in there but uh originally it was just customs keys now you can actually start finding all those other keys so you know like a really hard to find key right now is the gate key for streets got one of those today so put that into your little rotation of shit you should loot is uh every filing cabinet because hopefully you'll be able to find some juicy keys now there have been lots of changes going on over the past few or past week i haven't really been going down on all the little ins and outs of everything because honestly it gets a little bit tiring giving my opinion on absolutely everything but this ammo change is actually quite big and should be quite enjoyable for all of you um that are actually playing the game a little bit more slower or casually um and hopefully you, you guys uh you know enjoy the wipe as much as i have been try not to get wound up into all the stressful shit that's been going on on social media and everyone cracking their shits over everything it's not worth your stress just enjoy the game or don't play it that's simple anyway lastly like and subscribe and lastly i'll see you next time i said lastly twice yeah th three times lastly four times